Hi everybody and welcome on my channel. Are you planning to do mid or long range flights with your FPV drone? If so, first you must get your million bell reading set correctly. So stay with me as in today's video I will be showing you how to do that step by step. I'm going to calibrate the million bell reading on my Chimera 7 which I use with a 6S LiPo uh, 3500 million bell of capacity. The way the calibration process works is as follow. First, we go to the OST tab uh, as we need to add the milliampere drone element, uh, which is this one, battery current milliampere drone. As we need to take a note of it at the end of the flight. After the flight, we need to recharge the battery and take a note of how much milliampere has been put back into the battery. And you need a smart charger like this one which can provide you this information. And also we need to take a note of the previous scale. So we go to the power and battery tab, scroll down at the amperage meter. We need to take a note of the scale here. In my case it's 1243. So once we got all of this information, then by using an online current sensor calibration tool, we add these three values and it will calculate the new scale for us. So let's begin now. Make sure to start your flight with a fully charged battery. As we can see, the, the milliampere reading is telling us that around 2150 milliampere has been consumed from the time I plugged the battery until the GPS got fixed satellites, which was probably around 2 max 3 minutes. And this value is obviously way off since the flight has not even begun yet. Why is it important to have this value calibrated correctly, you may ask? Well, if you're planning to do mid or long range flights, it is necessary to know precisely how much current you got left in your LiPo or Lion battery. Even though the battery voltage tells when the battery is about to run out of power, it cannot tell how close it really is to it. And that's why having the milliampere reading set correctly is important. Obviously, you don't want to run out of current before reaching the on point, right? We are going to jump to the end of the flight to take a note of the milliampere drone. Here we can see that 21 volt is shown, which is 3.5 volt per cell, and the milliampere use is 4750, which again is clearly off since the battery I use is uh, 3500 milliampere. The battery has just been fully charged. And as we can see here, 3,134 milliampere has been put back into the battery and, and we need to take note of this as well. Also, I noticed when I start to charge the battery, the voltage was at 3.6 volt per cell, which is around 21.6 volt in total. So it was a little bit o uh, over than the voltage I had on the OSD in my goggles. Anyway, we take a note of, the, of this value as we need it and we jump to the next step. Here we are in the current sensor calibration tool. I'll leave the link of this website in the description and we start to get the new scale. So in the first field, we need to add uh, the milliampere reading of the end of the flight, which was 4750. Then the second one, how much milliampere has been put back into the battery by the charger, which was 3134. And here the old beta flight scale, which was 1243. And this is the new scale. So we copy this one and paste into the battery and power tab in beta flight. I'll show you now in the next step. 
Okay, back in the power and battery tab, and here we replace the old scale with the one provided to us by the calibration tool, and the new scale, as we have just seen, is 1883.93. 1,000. I know from experience already, but just uh, sorry, just want to show you that the decimals are not accepted. So when if you put the decimal and you go to click on save, it goes back to the old scale. So what we need to write is just 1,883 and click on save, and that's all. It is necessary to repeat this calibration process three or four times to get a precise reading. Also, keep in mind that if you make any change on your drone, such as carrying or removing your action camera, replacing your current props with ones with different pitch, or using a battery with a million bar different than the one you used during the calibration process, then this calibration needs to be redone as different weight and prop speech can affect the current drone. That's all for today. Please like, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any FPV flights and especially FPV video tutorials. That's all for today again and we will see you at the next one. See ya!